Hi, my name is uh, Philip. Today I will explain the prefix span algorithm, a famous algorithm for sequential pattern mining. So I think you know already what is sequential pattern mining. If you don't know, you can have a look at my previous uh, videos. Okay. So the goal in sequential pattern mining is if you have some data that are some sequences, you want to find patterns that appear many times in these uh, sequences. This can help you to understand your data or, and maybe to take some decision and so on. Okay. So our prefix span is a famous algorithm. Here you have a paper that explains prefix span. And also if you want to try prefix span, you can look up for the SPMF software. Is a free open source and you can get the code the data sets to play with prefix span on your data or do some research or experiments and so on okay so let's start uh, prefix span the algorithm was first proposed about more than 20 years ago one good thing about prefix span why it is good it is that it will search for patterns in the data but unlike some other algorithm before, it will only look at the pattern that exists in the database, okay, in your data. So there are some other algorithm before, like GSP and so on. One problem of these previous algorithm was that sometimes they combine the pattern together to find other patterns. But when they combine, they don't look at the database, so they can make some new patterns that don't exist in your data and then this algorithm will waste some time to analyze patterns that don't exist okay so in prefix span they try to solve this problem by always only looking at the patterns that exist in the database so every time prefix span will search for patterns it will it will always look at the database to make sure it only look at something exists in your data and it will save some time it will be faster than some other algorithm that were proposed before also prefix span why is interesting because it will use two concepts called uh, database projection that i will explain to you after and also it used the concept of uh, depth first search so this is another idea I will talk to you later. Uh, prefix span is the, not the most efficient algorithm, but it is simple. If you want to do programming, it's not so difficult. And also it is easy to extend. You can use it for many other things. So it is popular. I will explain prefix span first with some example, and then I will give you more idea about optimization and some observations and so on okay so let's start okay so we take some example here here we have a sequence database a database with four sequences so here again i suppose you know already what is sequential pattern mining if not you can watch my other videos so here i will explain more quickly okay so a sequence database is a database with some sequences here there are four of them the first one for example let's say it is about shopping the first sequence say some people buy a and b like apple and bread then buy cake and then apple another sequence maybe is another customer in the store that bought apple and bread then bread then cake another customer a tree buy bread and cake and dates and so on so now the user set a parameter the minimum support to three and we want to find the patterns in this database some subsequence okay in this database that appear at least three times so this is the goal so our prefix span will do this okay let's have a look so the first step prefix span will read the database to count the support that means the frequency okay of each item in the database so here we have the database you can see here and prefix span will read this database one time okay so it takes linear time to count how many times 
we have A, B, C and D. So the result will be like this. Air A has a support of 3 appear 3 times, B appear 4 times, C 4 times and D 1 time. So our goal here is to find the item, the, the pattern, the sequential patterns appear at least 3 times. So you can see in these results D appear only one time. Okay, so this is not good. So what will happen here? Prefix span will eliminate the infrequent item like D because D appear only one time. So any patterns that contain D cannot be frequent. So we don't need to look at D anymore. Okay, for this example. So then this will give us the result, the patterns with only one item like A, B and C. Okay, so all of them appear at least three times so they are the sequential patterns. Okay, so now after we find this in prefix span we want to find the larger patterns with two items not just one like A or like B or like C. We want to find like AB or AC and so on. Okay. So let's look at the next step. Prefix span will take each of these frequent uh, patterns here, A, B, and C, and extend them recursively. Okay. So we'll start with A, and then we'll do B, and then we'll do C. Okay. So let's look at A first. So we start with the pattern A only A. So prefix span, what it will do first, it will do what we call a database projection with A. So that means, let me explain to you, we take the database we had before, okay, the original database, and then what we will do, we do the database projection. It means that we keep only the sequence that contain A, and also we find where there is a A and we will remove everything that appeared before the first occurrence of A okay to keep only what is after so let's have a look at this so here I have the original database we do like a copy of this okay we find where there's a A and we remove A the first A, okay, the first occurrence of A, and everything before. So here we have B, C, A, B, B, C. Here there's no A, so we delete the sequence. Here we remove everything before the first A, including the first A, okay. So the result will be like this, okay. So this is what we call database projection, okay. So now we look at A, the pattern A. We want to find the patterns that start with A. So first we take the database and we do a projection by A. So we keep only the sequence start with A or as an A inside and we delete everything before including the A. Okay. So this is the result here. So after this what we will do we have this projected database of A then prefix span will read this database that is smaller than the original database to count how many times each item appears. So by looking at this database we find that we have A uh, followed by A. Okay, So A here appear one time so that means A followed by A because we are in the project to database of A. B appear three times with A, like A, B, A, B, A, B. So A, B together appear as a support of three. A followed by B appear only one time. Okay, so don't be confused here. We have A, B together and A followed by B. Okay, so A and B together, this A and B together, A and B together, A and B together. But here we had A followed by B, okay, only one time. And also we have A followed by C. 
So A followed by C, A followed by C, A followed by C. So three times. So these are the patterns we find in this projected database. Okay, we read the database once to find this. So now what we will do, prefix span will remove the infrequent patterns. So don't forget we want to find the patterns with the support at least three. So here what we had, we had two patterns with support of one. So we can remove them. So these are the patterns that start with A. So after that, what prefix span will do? Again, it will take each of these patterns to extend them recursively. So we start with A followed by C to find all the patterns that start by A followed by C. So let's do this and then we'll do what we'll start with A B. Okay. So now step four. We look we want to find the pattern start with A followed by B. So again, like before, we do the database projection from this, okay? We want to project by C to have the projected database of AC. So we have this database here, and we want to calculate the projected database of AC. So we find the first C in each sequence, and we delete everything that is before. So the result will be like this on the right, okay? Like this, okay? So only one sequence left. Now we do the same thing again. So prefix span will count the support of each uh, item in this database to make some pattern start by A followed by C. So here A appear one time, so it makes the pattern A followed by C followed by A one time. So this pattern is uh, frequent or not? It is not frequent because it appear only one time. We want to find the patterns that appear at least three times. So the pattern is infrequent. So we finish with A followed by C. We don't need to look anything else. Start by A followed by C. Now we will go back and try to find the patterns with A, B, and then something else, okay? So we'll look at this. So we add the projected database of A, and we'll do the database projection for A, B, okay? So here, what we do, we find the first uh, B, so A with B, okay? So A with B, we delete everything before including the B. Same here, same here. So the result is like this. Now, prefix span will read the database one time to count these items and make some patterns. So the result will be like this. So we have A, B with C, one, two, three. So A, B with C has a support of three. A, B with A, so A, B followed by A, one time. A, B with B, one time. So again, after this, prefix span will remove the infrequent patterns. So these two patterns appear less than three times, okay? So prefix span remove them and we'll keep only the other one as a result, a frequent pattern, sequential pattern. So after this, prefix span will continue like that. We'll try to find the patterns that start by A, B, followed by C, okay? So let's have a look if we can find some more patterns. So now we try to find the patterns starting with A, B, followed by C. So to do this, first, again, we do a database projection. So we have the projected database of AB. We do a projection. So we look at the, C, the first C in each sequence. So AB followed by C. And we delete everything before. So only this will be left. Now, again, we prefix span will read the database to count the item in this. There's only A, okay? So from this, we can only make the pattern A, B, C, A. And it has a support of one. So 
this is not frequent because one is less than three so it will be eliminated it is infrequent so then prefix span will continue again it will go back to before to try to find the patterns that start with b we did all the patterns start with a okay until now now we will do starting with b so we had the original database we go back to before okay and prefix span will do a database projection with b so how it will do it take the database and it look at the first b in each sequence and it will delete everything including the first b everything before the first b including the first b so it will give the result like this okay as you can see here then if you remember what prefix span will do is always the same it will read the database to try to make the pattern starting with b okay so by looking at the projected database of b it will count how many a after b so there are two so b a as support of two how many b after b so after b we have b and b so b b as support of two and so on like before so now after prefix span read the database only one time it will count all of this and then it will eliminate the infrequent pattern here we want to find the pattern at appear at least three times so there is only one that is frequent b followed by c now prefix span will do the same operation again we'll try to find the pattern start with b followed by c so let's have a look b followed by c so we take the projected database of b we do the projection with c to get the projected database of b followed by c so here i do a little bit more quickly i find the first c after b and i delete c and everything before okay the result will be like this now prefix span do the same thing again it will scan this database to find the patterns so bc we have a so bca one time bcd one time also support of one so all these patterns are infrequent so they will be eliminated as you will see okay so then this process uh, we should continue again and again but now all the patterns are infrequent so prefix span has finished its work okay so we have found all the frequent patterns in the database so now we can do some observation about this what is interesting about prefix span so actually we could always use the same database why we do the database projection database projection the reason why we do this is because the database always becomes smaller and smaller every time we do a database projection we make the database smaller and smaller so we don't need to look at the whole database every time we want to find the the patterns and the more the patterns are longer the more the database will become smaller okay so this will make the algorithm faster uh, also another reason uh, why prefix span is good as i said before is because it will only look at the patterns that appear in your data every time we want to find the longer patterns prefix span read the database and because it read the database it can only look at the real patterns in your data so it will not waste the time looking at patterns that don't exist okay so the final result what we found in this database we find uh, seven frequent sequential patterns some subsequence appear at least three times so a b c a c a b together a b together followed by c and b followed by c so this is the final result so now i want to talk more about prefix span let's 
talk about some observation. Prefix ban to what we call a depth first search. Okay, so let me show you a picture about this. So here we have the empty sequence, nothing. So prefix ban, what it will do? It will look first, read the database to count A, the pattern A, the pattern B, C, and D. Then from A, prefix span will from uh, these patterns, prefix span will, will find that A, B, and C are frequent, and D is not frequent. So prefix span then will not use the pattern D anymore. Okay, anything start with D cannot be a frequent pattern. So we don't need to extend D to look for patterns that start with D. So now from A, B, C, prefix span will look at A. From A, prefix span to the projected database and will count the item. So it will find A, 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 B, A, C, A, B together. Then these two are infrequent, these two are frequent. So prefix span will only look at those two to try to find the longer pattern. It will not look at anything start with A or AB because it cannot be frequent. So then if we look at AC first, it will find ACA and it is infrequent. Then from AB together, prefix span found AB followed by C, AB followed by A, AB followed by B. These two are infrequent, so we don't need to extend them, okay? It will be useless. We only look at this one, AB followed by C. From this, prefix span do the projected database, scan the database again, and we'll, we'll find ABCA. This is also frequent. Now, after this, we finish from here. We cannot make more. So prefix span continue from B. From B, it do the database projection, count the pattern with one more item. It find these patterns here. Only this one is frequent. Then prefix span will do the database projection and count to find new patterns. All of them are infrequent. So then prefix span has finished. Okay. So this uh, exploration of the search space, we call this depth first search because we go down one branch of the tree, then we go up, then we go for B, then we go for C, and then D, and so on. Okay, so this is what we call the depth first search. So here I put the pseudocode of uh, prefix span, a simple version, if you want. So it is a procedure called prefix span. It takes a database as input, uh, sequence. So initially it will be the empty sequence, okay, and the minimum support. So first we scan the database to find the support of each sequence that start with S. S is empty, okay, so that means first you read the database to find the frequent item. Then for each uh, sequence, for each item appear many times, more than the minimum support, Output the item, the, the sequence, okay, because it is frequent. Then make the projected database, and then you call prefix span again to scan the database, find the item to extend the pattern, and then you 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 output them, make the projected database, and repeat over and over, okay. So the prefix span algorithm is a recursive algorithm. It's not very complicated, actually, okay, as you can see here. This is the basic idea. So now, if we want to make this better, we can add some optimization, okay? It is important, and it can make a big, big difference for the performance. So the first optimization is based on one observation. If we always make a copy of the database to do the projection, it can spend a lot of time and memory. So when you add the database, you do a projection, 
will you make a copy of the database every time you copy the database copy the database and so on maybe it will spend a lot of time and memory okay because there are many patterns and for each of them you need to do a database projection so this seems like very very costly for a computer program so there is one solution it is to do the pseudo projection instead of making a copy of the database you don't make a full copy you don't make a real copy but you use pointers on the original database instead okay instead of making a real copy so let me show you this so here i have a database if i do a normal project projection i will make a copy of this but i will remove something but still it will use a lot of memory now in this optimization i will not make a copy i will just use some pointers on the original database so only thing i need to store it is three pointers here i don't need to copy the database okay so these pointers are on the original database so if you do this in your code when you do the programming for prefix span prefix span can be 10 times faster and use more than 10 times less memories for example so it make really a big difference to do this okay another optimization is the following after you read the database to count the support of each item prefix span could remove all the infrequent items from the database this will reduce the database size so for example after you read the original database in my example we find that d is infrequent so we could remove the d okay as you can see here so i remove the d so after that every time i do the projection and scan database it will be faster because d will have been removed so we can do this at the beginning or every time we make the projected database we could remove the infrequent items so this is also one important optimization to make prefix span faster so i want to talk a little bit with you prefix span is a good algorithm or not generally it is very fast for each frequent pattern prefix span will scan the database once to count the support of the pattern and scanning the database takes linear time with respect to the database size so but and creating a projected database is also done in linear time so you read the database one time to do the projection it does not take so much time and as i said before the more the patterns will become longer the more the projected database will become smaller so it will become faster and faster and so on but this can still consume a lot of time in memory so but still it is a good technique in general and unlike some other algorithm like gsp and others Prefix span only look at the pattern that exists in the database. This will save a lot of time, okay, compared to GSP or other before. And prefix span, another thing, is easily to extend, to add more constraint. So you could add the constraint of the length of the pattern. You don't want to find patterns with more than five items. Or you don't want to find patterns that have a too big gap between the items you don't want to skip some items okay you want the the items the the letters to be contiguous in the pattern no gap and so on so all of this is easy to add to prefix span when you do the programming okay with this uh, approach so what influence the performance of prefix span in general first the minimum support threshold if you set the threshold to very very low the time will increase sometime exponentially okay the more you lower the minimum support 
the more there will be patterns and the more projected database a uh, perfect span will have to make and also the characteristic of the database are important will influence the performance so the number of sequences the length of these sequences whether these sequences are similar or not and the number of distinct items and so on all of this will change the performance so that's all for my explanation about prefix span I hope it has been interesting you have learned something about this uh, if you want to try prefix span again there's a fast Java implementation available in SPMF you can find if you search on the web it can be used as a standalone software or as a library and it has also many many other algorithms to find sequential patterns in your data all kinds okay so if you have data as a sequence or you want to do research about this you can try it has also many data sets to try like a text documents or a dna sequence and so on and if you want to know more about sequential pattern mining you can check our survey paper we wrote a few years ago it explains uh, the basic algorithm like prefix span and so on and give you a good overview of uh, this field so uh, thank you very much for listening to my video uh, that's all okay uh, and you can look at my other videos if you want to learn more about data mining and other algorithms okay thank you